Also do ventures. Ye na ye ye akwenti mu enhintasem ewo ye royal TV. Na enam se ye akwenti mu enhintasem inti no. Na manfu etu kwa ye kwa manon ne. E kwa ye inti ye banan se ye beko kipkus. Nam se ablofone bagana no. Kipkus no mudi kan besu ye ye. Ye kwa ye no awya ye kwa mponano kakra. Se de mponano no. E siti ye no. Mamfuo binumani abri yina muna nasifu wechile sayo tine kurumuwa ewe nyuma bibri ewa ha Enye ase mkitu wakura Na yifiri wano Eya juni sebe kwa eye kaso Limina kaso Bebia Eye Ablofone baye umbe sisi kaso Sane mamfuo so muna nasifu wano Na enye izi Sede ya mekano Binuma anopapa mwako yifesha Umu moton eni umuwa Amo baji ya kwa mwomu kwe diye ni nasefo. Na hani ya bura ayye elimina kasa. Hai! Uzo da blanche ya mepie ayye kipkus kasa. Ati, ati ati ya. E nye izi, e nye pete. E wako mbizyo. What a wow, 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 a wow, I'll be with you for the next one hour. Please feel free to ask questions, take pictures. Your comments and your inputs are welcome. And this morning, our focus would be on the transatlantic slave trade. Yeah. At the time, there wasn't any electricity in the country. For that reason, the host up there served as a source of light and ventilation. The trenches here served as a drainage system. When it rained, Water passed through the holes towards their feet during vomit, leftover food among other materials into the ocean. And so you can imagine the offensive smell here at the time. You can imagine the mosquitoes here at the time. You can imagine the house flies here at the time. Diseases. We all know that the heat in urine alone is enough to kill. We generate electricity from our own faces. But innocent souls slipped in here for such a longer period and that they died in their numbers. Indeed, millions of people died over here. Therefore, as we remain sensitive, you will hear souls crying all over the place. If the words will speak, the words will have been the best position to tell us the things, the difficulties, the insurance, the brutality that they have been. In 1972, 1973, Come on, a for a charge a a a a Indeed, there are samples of the abysses and the wall that suggest that yes, they lived in the abysses. They had no option than to live in the abysses. They had no option than to live in their leftover food. The enslaved Africans had no option than to live in their during for two weeks to three months. Indeed, they lost their feelings as human beings. Today, we lost our it's been documented that in our 18 people were successful in escaping from the factory. But a majority of those who made that in our dream were condemned. We were soon going to be condemned to so. NT Yefri, first chamber, a call, a year second chamber. Now, I wish you for a year is old. Now, he will be a nipper bad. Nay, a sissy, so, nay, a year, so, or so, nipper goofum. Nay, a more moon, cock round, cock or soon be a year is. The rest were not excavated. Therefore, we are working on the remains of the captives. 
So this sort of light and ventilation for 200 men. Yes. And the free air second chamber no, you call third chamber. I hold you now on a sebe a nipper and a na a guru. Now, dear Bacon, Miss Yan or Honest, now you know, no more was someone near some Edison assuming young Copon. Then so a Christosum by you know, a boss, I knew many men agree, sir, and no, a yabosum song. And Tino, I said, yes, some Christo. Christo, my mom, by my own Christo no soa. Muna a better tea, a high and cum yen and unmobi. Yen for the first European nation to have come to the Gold Coast. They came around 1471. They brought us the first church. That was a Roman Catholic church. And so Roman Catholic church was established in the courtyard of the Edmina Castle. The people of Denmark brought us Presbyterian church. And so Presby was established on top of the lower captive dungeon as the Christians were casting a crowd. So the British brought us the first English church, Church of England, which changed them to Anglican Church. So Anglican Church was established right on top of this chamber. It started around 1752. Methodist Church started in the courtyard on the 1st of January 1835. So whilst we're preaching, love thy neighbor as thyself up there. The captives were here, sleeping in their own pieces, dying in their nameless. So ironically, heaven up there hell down here. Which means that if you were in hell, there was no way you could go to heaven. In other words, the captives were not allowed to join them there to worship the Almighty God. Source of light and ventilation up there. A spy who right in front of the church. This school is right in front of the Anglican church. As the Christians went to church to worship the Almighty God, they saw the captives here sleeping in their own pieces, dying in their numbers. After church services, they saw them here, calling for help, but no help. But I'm not the right person to judge. The police let's proceed. Yes. Could they, could the same walk around the, the chamber? Yes, they could. But um, those in the first chamber were locked up. But the rest were open so that they could move around, even though the place was overcrowded. Yes. And the free a third chamber no a kofana chamber. Na a honso no a nipe wu hono a nyasim ketua ne ho pa na na yena nanom na omoko na omoko som ewo ho eh ma e ho no mobo nyankopon din eh e ma ye hu se eh nyankopon bi ewo ba bi nanso kriso som ba e be cross o bi bi a mo ma ye ntie de ekwu but in real life this space is different it's a great ground and the second is more chamber there this is an african traditional temple a shrine on that is here is brighter we have some reeds over here this shrine was in part of the dungeon system while the captives were here, this wasn't here. From this side to that end, there was a tunnel, underground passage. They used to walk through to join the boats, then onto the ships. The tunnel was sealed around 1833, when the drill was abolished in this dungeon. We can't walk through because of the fact that it's been sealed. However, we will soon walk on it and look at part of it. It's about 72 meters. Now, this is one of the 77 shrines in Cape Coast. Before the arrival of the Europeans, Africans used to worship the Almighty God, children upon Yankupon, the supreme being, through natural things, such as rocks, rivers, mountains, trees, among other objects. So at the time, there was a very big rock occupying this piece of land. Chiefs of the land used to come here to worship, but when the Europeans acquired the land from the chiefs, the chiefs were not allowed to come here to worship. For that reason, a ritual was performed. Part of the rock was removed from here to town. Up there, there's a commercial bank. They used to go to that side to worship instead of here. But after the trade had been abolished, another ritual was performed and it was brought back to its original place. That is why this is here. Here in Cape Coast, there are 77 lesser gods, 77 shrines in Cape Coast. And this is one of them. It is called Anatabu. Anatabu. Anatabu is not just one of the gods in Cape Coast, it is the head of all the gods in Cape Coast. The priest in charge is not seen at the moment. He is in the person of Nana Kwame in Krabia. In Krabia means destiny. Kwame is a male born on Saturday. Nana Kwame uses palm wine to pour libation to communicate to the spirit. That is why you see the bottle here. When the chiefs of the land come here to perform their rituals, they sit on the stools. Now let me emphasize that millions of the captives died. Millions of them died. Quantitatively, it's been estimated that about 210 million Africans were enslaved. But then, out of the 210 million, 60 million attempted the middle passage. 
For the 60 million, just about 12.5 million were able to survive the journey. So you can imagine. To survive a condition of this nature, to survive the middle passage, which was worse than the situation here, and to get to the new world, it is the grace of the Almighty God. So my guest, Hey, yeah, I will some papa, 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 sir. Huh. A be a na unhundia wonka, a son, sir. A yen anonym near papanum, a b, a di muja, ena, a j, a ye good coos, a ne, a dane, a ye gana. A nyazi, a nipe, who are her down on. So, a month for near ma, a dear little toto, a insuring a little honor, a gooby bedeno. Yet was so, in ye. Yet was so. I'm giddy, sir, and we see him, you know. Now, in your dear, I see him. I'm in But she would be strong. I mean, draw some lessons. Yes, you will be. And you're better. Aha, and so a year. Oh, more a teacher for a movie, you know. A monsoon, not a year to swim. Four identified graves over here. Four identified graves, one day. Here we have Big Christian for Philip Kaku, a Reverend Philip Kaku. Philip was a native of Cape Coast. He was born and bred right here in Cape Coast. His father was a slave merchant, a local slave dealer, a medrama. And then as a result of the relationship that his father had with the English, Philip was awarded a scholarship by the leader of the Anglican Church. Reverend Thomas Thompson to study abroad to become a missionary. So Philip attended Oxford University. He was the first black man to be ordained as an Anglican priest in England. He was equally appointed as the first school headmaster in Gold Coast, now Ghana. He served in the castle as a priest and also a schoolmaster for 50 years. He died at the age of 75 on the 17th of October, 1816. So every 17th October, the Anglican community come here to celebrate Reverend Philip Kaku's day. Philip Kaku, that was Anglican Church, the first Anglican Church in the whole of West Africa, established around 1752, under the leadership of Reverend Thomas Thompson. The church is now children's library. Yes, you have a question? Madam, you have a concern? Right, right. So here we have a gentleman by name C.B. Hightech. C.B. Whitehead, a British Army commander and a lawyer by profession. He died at the age of 38 on the 2nd of July, 1812. Here we have Leticia Elizabeth London. Leticia Elizabeth London was a British journalist. She came around 1838 to visit her husband, George McLean. She died in two months after arrival. Indeed, different schools have different opinions concerning the cause of her death. One school of thought is of the view that as of the time Leticia came to the castle, her husband, George McLean, was having an affair with a black woman called Miss Ellen Bannerman from Accra, and that out of jealousy, she poisoned herself. In direct contrast, another school of thought has argued that Miss Ellen Bannerman might have poisoned Leticia. It has also been alleged that mosquitoes killed her. But as I speak to you, I personally don't really know what actually killed her. She died at the age of 36, around 1838. Now, you're free, 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 do fetch the war, Nessie. A do appear a year upon an idea by your piano, near you. Eh, a ya semo, or me and hey. The end of the tunnel, the end of the underground passage. Here was the final exit point, so they moved out this way, they joined the boats, then onto the ships. But the waves used to come here, indeed, the waves used to disturb a lot. For that reason, officers switched this side. They created a new exit point <coughs> down there. Therefore, they were no longer moving through this direction, they moved on this way. The end of the tunnel was sealed around 1833 when the tree was abolished in these dungeons. Let's visit the punishment cell for the female captives. From there, we proceed to the female captives' dungeon. So, from where we saw the shrine, 
eti modin fo na anka se bae no omanfo mo yire no ama nti ye yen kwa no e na omutugu mu so se be mu wasa wasa bi mu sire munya se bia ye no wo ka ama wati ase ye se wo ba ne ya yire wo na de de be yo bia ne de ya wo wuwa na ye de wo ko awe ho nyame emoye yakopon emoye papa 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 na yesire yakopon se onfa adofuo amuji yemen si ho ekra ensiye ensiye pa na ensemo awe ho ensemo so eha for that reason, they defended on the female captives for sexual services. Huh. They raped the women. But those women who resisted the officer's rape were given some severe lashes. After giving them some lashes, they brought them here. They locked them up. Food and water was given to them through the small window. They created a hole here in order for them to defecate here, and then also to urinate here to serve and to serve them for agony. Punishment served for the female captives. In terms of numbers, depending on the number that resisted the officer's rape at the time, it could be 20 or more or less at the time, and that they would be in here for five to seven days. Punishment, so. What happens to the dead age when you were present? Um, living in the womb, I committed no crime. For that reason, the women were taken to town for special treatment. After delivery, the delivery was taken from them. They came back to them just to the They were shaped. And so today, when you go to the prisons, you realize that pregnant women and nursing mothers receive special attention. Yes. Hmm. You free, Hano. You are Elimina. You are back in Castle. You are free, Hano. And you are condemned sex. Cells. You are not a bad guy. All right, so as established earlier, the edifice is accredited to the English. Again, it was built in 1655. We are now in 2019, therefore we can conclude that the edifice is 354 years old. This is a cell, but not any ordinary cell. It's a condemned cell. We are entering, but please, mind your head. Otherwise, we carry the edifice to wherever it came from. Oh, no problem. Oh, you call it? Uh-uh. I don't have 
Abraham, Abraham, I hear you, Abraham, Abraham. Abraham, we are Ghana star. Ghana star, Abraham. Ha, Anna, yesterday, a year, baby, I'm from the bay, no more, 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 no Biale, be my street here. Team, Sebe, Mujo Munaya, no team. Munso Manfu, I asked for a wash rope. I said, and none of the ever call heaven. I asked more. The quack of hair in the babaco. A beer no or no quanti, the whole and a yeasy, Mama, young uncle. One person. Yes. Anything in common, commonalities, this place and the dungeon? Mm. Um, yes, just one thing. A human being lives here. Human being. A human being lives here. Yes, a human being lives here. Any other commonalities? Hmm. Any other? The same building, right? Yes. The sound of the ocean. The sound of the ocean. Correct. Right. Let's Correct. move to the bedroom. The government. Ah, did you eat and eat here? Was it not between dining and sleeping and what are you going to dine for? Oh, I'm from my FA. Oh, I'm not going to go home. Governor's bedroom, many, many years ago. Governor's bedroom, one governor lived here at a time. Hey. Look at the differences between this place and the dungeon. Think about it. You might have heard so much as far as the subject matter is concerned. You might have read a lot of literature. You might have watched a lot of serious documentaries, movies. You might have even specialized in history. But having gone through the dungeons, 
having come here, let's reflect on the subject matter once again, the governance bedroom. Let's move to the governance reception area. From there, we conclude as the first team meeting. <coughs> Flag in the morning. Come and stand here and instruct them. No. So just there. Over there, you could see inland and offshore. So anytime they spotted any danger, they communicated to the soldiers in here. Yes. Yes. Wow. Great meeting. Screaming, crying, wailing, dying down there. 
And so, ironically, it happens here to hell down there. Hey. Any questions, comments, observations, input, lessons? Any questions, comments, observations, input, lessons? Are we together? Hmm. Are we on the same page? If you have any concerns, let me address it before we move. Now, before we depart, let me draw your attention to the fact that though slave trade was abolished in this country in 1833, yet slavery is ongoing in so many forms. To the extent that today there are so many people in slavery than in the past. Yes. In that we can still talk of child labor, we can talk of child trafficking, child prostitution. Institutional racism has some people more treat their maid servants, their workers, very terrible. Today, some work for two years, three years, without any allowance, without any salary. This is happening right here in this country. It is happening in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. We can talk of mental slavery or psychological slavery, mm -hmm. political slavery, economic slavery. Look at what is happening in Libya, for example. It is very terrible. But going forward, I have always advocated that as individuals, wherever we find ourselves, regardless of our race, regardless of our skin color, Regardless of our religious affiliation, regardless of our political affiliation, let us see ourselves as one people created by the same creator. No matter what. So far as we are human beings, somebody will serve the other. But somebody serving you doesn't mean that you should treat the person as a slave. Mm -hmm. Let's respect one another. Treat each other with fairness and equality justice. Let's do unto others whatever we would want others to do unto us. Whatever resources, whatever talents, Whatever potential that God has given to each of us, let's value it and be self-reliant. Let us be transformed by the renewal of our minds. Because until we change the way we think, some of us will forever be in chains. Until we change the way we think, some of us will forever enslave others. Let's educate ourselves. Having gone through the dungeons doesn't mean that we should begin to hate one another. The truism is that hating one another wouldn't solve the problem. Shifting blames on others wouldn't solve the problem. Rather, let's come together and fight against slavery in our society. Let's all join hands and campaign against slavery in our society. Because together we stand divided before. The impact of one, there can be a change. Therefore, as individuals, in our own small way, let us be the agent of change that we want to see within our immediate environment. On that note, I want to appreciate if your time with me. My name has been Francis Kofi Isel. Call me Kofi Isel. It's been beautiful having you as my guest. Thank, Thank you. you exceedingly. God bless you. Have a fruitful morning. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank 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 you. Super, why are you doing it? And woman said, A nazi, a nazi, a profound book, woman, and say, You know, with a dear, a nazi. Ya, ya, shallow, a bosan so, name every before, good form, maybe say, Be quick, a nine to be a home. You'll be a frog on themselves. No light, no fine, no shay, and you come up by beating. Better tell San Luke, I got Abraham, 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 fat, me ba a castle. A year kept us alive. Anyone who is Abraham, who is Juma Magana, but my name is Mohammed. I am a bear fan. What I say, and she is coming with you. I am coming with you.